Hello there my friends and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my Monsanto World full Lance playthrough on PlayStation 5. We should be on part 39 now I believe and what we're gonna do today guys I'm super excited and I can't wait to do it. And look if those of you who have been um, following this channel for quite a while you're well aware of my Witcher 3 playthrough that I did on this channel I think it was last year. Um, it's one of my most proudest, you know, best experiences I've ever had um, being on YouTube. And that was playing through The Witcher 3 and its DLCs. It, it was an awesome experience. Um, I really missed that game. Now, the thing is, Monsanto World is also a passion of mine. So these two games, Witcher 3 and Monsanto World and Iceborne, etc., they're one of my favorite games of all time. They're one of the greatest games of all time. And guess what, guys? We have The Witcher 3 collaboration with Geralt of Rivia's voice actor. Let's go, baby. <laughs> so I've been looking forward to this one. I can't wait. So what I'm going to do now, um, I thought I'd start off here, guys, because I wanted to show you my, <laughs> my little house here. So... Uh, by the way, those are the prehistoric fish I was telling you about. I did do a tutorial on the channel. Uh, well, not on the channel, on one of my videos. I, I can't remember which um, which one it was. But um, but yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Anyway, I'll meet you back um, at the quest board. And we'll get this underway. All right, guys, check it out. What we need to do is speak to these three little cute cats. <laughs> so they're from the third fleet. So we'll talk to them and we'll get this quest started and underway. I'm so excited, guys. <laughs> anyway. Ah, oh, the Sapphire Star. Just the hunter we were looking for. <laughs> fur, bloody hell. <laughs> uh, per, what's that mean? Per, oh, please. Okay, Paris. You have to come back to the research base with us. The old Linian expert lady wants to talk to you. <laughs> you see, we were out on safari when suddenly a tail raider we've never seen before joined and followed us back to base. It's got a really scary face, even scarier than yours. Oh, <laughs> screw you! <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> anyway, but, but, but it didn't try to eat us or anything. The old expert <laughs> lady didn't know what to make of it, so we came here to find someone that could help. But Estera is pretty big and everyone's so tall. Thank goodness you found us first. <laughs> Sorry guys, I can't keep reading it like that. It's actually throwing me off a bit. <laughs> anyway, Paris Hunter, lend us a paw. Will he come back to the research base with that with us? Oh, for crying out loud, more more to read. Jesus. Investigate the anomaly at the research base. Something has happened at the research base. Head there at your earliest convenience. This is a special assignment unrelated to the Research Commission's main mission of solving the Elder Crossing. Um, guys, I've read this before. Um, they say the same thing, except for, in fairness, the last paragraph. I'll leave you up there. You can pause it. You can read it yourselves. This special assignment has voice options for Japanese, English, French, Italian, German, and Spanish. Adjust the language to get the most authentic experience for this collaboration title. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Paris Hunt to come back to a uh, research base with us and hear what the Linian expert lady has to say. Okay, let's do it, guys. Many thanks, Hunter. Let's head out right meow. <laughs> All right, guys, check it out. Okay, so we're now in the research base. There's Cure. Who do we speak to? Oh, here. The Linian research lady. Guys, sorry, I'm so excited. You, you don't know, man. I'm such a huge fan of Witcher 3. And this game, of course. But um, I'm passionate about both. But I'm so excited. Anyway, ch look, look, what is that? That looks familiar. It's a freaking Necker. <laughs> anyway, let's talk to her. Hey, can you... Oh, Hunter. I'm glad you're here. 
Do you see that curious creature over there? It suddenly showed up out of nowhere. It must have followed the Tail Raider Safari in the ancient forest and made its way back here. I've tried to figure out what it could be, but I've given up. I haven't got a clue. It doesn't even speak. I'm beginning to doubt that it's from this world, or that it's even living, for that matter. <laughs> this is awesome. Whatever it is, it's outside my area of expertise. It's best the commander was informed of this. I'll send a feline to fetch him right away. Mind staying around here until he arrives? A peculiar case, to say the least. I'm interested to see what comes of it. I see. I think I understand the situation. Though I'm not really sure what to make of it just yet. Just to be safe, we shouldn't get too close. But judging from the look of it, none of its features seem to resemble anything close to what we know as a living creature. Are you saying that this creature could have come from another world? <sighs> Seems like a lot of that going around lately. I believe we might find the answer to that in the ancient forest, where it was first spotted. There are too many unknown factors that exceed our knowledge. We need to conduct this investigation with extreme caution. It seems it might take a while to get to the bottom of this. If only there were someone who knew exactly what this was. research base to be more specific and you are Geralt of Rivia Witcher was tracking a monster through the forest when well I was transported here of a sudden must have been magic of some kind that brought me to this world <laughs> great magic in our world this is like something out of a fairy tale what you're saying is hard to believe, but after what we've just witnessed, I don't think we have a choice. A Necker? Well, well, quite familiar with those. How'd that one even get here? It came from the ancient forest. If we head there, maybe we can find clues to why you and the Necker came to our world. However, I fear monsters from another world might be beyond what the research commission is capable handling tell you what happen to be a monster slayer of sorts myself so venture to say I could take care of your problem in the woods at a price of course deal we're counting on you <laughs> all right let's go over oh, what we know awesome Guys, I've just had a big grin on my face through, throughout that entire cutscene. The Witcher music, um, the original voice actor for Geralt. It, it's just too much, man, honestly. <laughs> Amazing. Anyway. First, this creature is called a Necker, and it is not from our world. Second, the Necker was somehow transported from its world to the ancient forest. And third, what caused this Necker and our Witcher friend here to come to our world remains unknown. Beast probably dropped through a portal like I did. A different one. Wound up in this ancient forest of yours. Worth looking into, I'd say. Anything else I should know? Doesn't matter how trivial you think it might be. Now that you mention it, there have been reports of an unusually large number of revultures recently. They're scavenger birds with black feathers. Scavenger birds? <laughs> Sounds fun. The Commission will provide support in whatever way we can. I've already sent researchers ahead to investigate the matter. If you cross paths in the forest, don't hesitate to ask for their help. Thanks. Normally, I'd have you handle assignments like this. 
but given what we know of the situation, I'm leaving this one in the Witcher's hands. Which doesn't mean we can just sit around. It's our job to make sure the Witcher has everything he needs to get to the bottom of this. Yes, sir. Let me handle this one, Hunter. Promise I'll tend to it right away. <laughs> All right, check it out. Okay, do you want to help Geralt of Rivia? Of course. Why even ask that? What a stupid question. You get to play as Geralt of Rivia. Equipment for this quest is predetermined. You can only keep quest reward items. Meal effects are lost upon departing. This will not count towards the guild card's weapon usage statistics. I have no idea what that means, but anyway. All right, let's do it, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Guys, the music. I'm feeling emotional, man. I'm not even kidding. I really miss playing The Witcher 3. I, I, I miss it so much. You have no idea. <laughs> We're actually Geralt. Geralt, it's been a long time, my friend. It's good to see you again. Anyway, those of you... Um, I, I, look, I, I don't know if you Commission remember me or my... Should talk to him. I don't know if you guys remember me or my playthrough of The Witcher 3, but if you happen to stumble upon this, you know, please give this a watch, man, because I'm I'm so happy right now, honestly. <laughs> anyway, let's get this underway. Okay, so our tasks, uh, meet up with the chief botanist, meet up with the endemic life researcher. Okay. Good to see you. Pleased to meet you, Master Witcher. I'm one of the commission smithies. The music, guys. Jesus. The commander ordered me to set up shop here and make sure you have whatever you need at your disposal. I'm not sure if you have weapons like this where you're from, but I put together a selection of some of the best we've got. Be careful. If you want to change any equipment, come see me and I'll get you what you need. All right, obviously I'm a Lance player now, so <laughs> let's do Lance. However, just letting you know, FYI, uh, in keeping in theme with The Witcher 3, um, Geralt Rivia has a sword. Uh, the shield is actually his Quen sign, which is awesome. That's like a shield. And it's in white sharpness, but I am a lance player, guys, so we're going to stick to that. Uh, augmentations? Can I... Oh, no, I can't augment them. All right, this is all predetermined. Um, so, yeah, I've got a thunder lance, apparently. I hope it's good. Well, 15% affinity. What's Geralt's skills? Whoa, whoa, look at the attack boost, Jesus. All right, full health boost, we, we got full recovery speed, which is excellent. Marathon runner, uh, bombardier, but I don't think I'll be needing that for now. Crit, crit tires are not very high, it's okay. But we got full weakness exploit, so I must, um, I must actually try and uh, tenderize, you know, any any monsters that we meet. Anyway, guys, let's get the show on the way. Forest, huh? Easy place to get lost, looks like. Should follow the map. Try to find the commission members. All right. There is still a time limit, so I have to... Points of interest. I can use this to figure out my way around. <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm so happy, man. I feel, like, I feel like a kid on Christmas Day, honestly. This is amazing. Geralt, it's been a long time, my friend. Okay, let's grab these, I guess. Okay, Anyway, there is a time limit, so um, I want to actually get us moving. A commission member could know something. Can I speak to her? That monster mangled pretty bad from what I can see. You got that right. Huh? Wait a sec. Aren't you... Geralt. I'm a witcher. See a lot of dead bodies in my line of work. Right. The witcher guy. The commander said you'd be around. If there's anything I can do to help, just say the word. Actually, need to learn about the recent strange happenings in the forest. Got a feeling that carcass could be linked. You might be right. I've never seen monsters leave their prey looking like this. Like to check the body if you don't mind. Let's have a look. Just like in The Witcher 3, examining a corpse. <laughs> That's sick examining the head. Herbivore. Gotta be, judging by the shape of its head. That's right! It's called an Aptonoth. Very docile. They usually travel in herds. All of them this big? Quite the feast for a predator. 
Yeah, they're actually a favorite among the larger monsters, and, um, well, us too. You could say they are quite tasty. Uh, but yeah, it's not uncommon to see an Abdenoth carcass lying around here and there. Bodies riddled with puncture wounds. Yeah, by something small and pointy. Bird's beaks, lots of them. Looks like a whole flock attacked it. Broken bones, swollen muscles. It was running away from something, collapsed here. Abdenoth will only run if they feel threatened. The whole herd will run to a safer location. No other Abdenoth around. Whatever attacked this one waited until it had separated from the herd. Clever. All right, awesome. So, seems a flock of birds attacked it after it was separated from the herd. Ran for its life while being pecked at, dropped dead here. That's horrible. <laughs> So strange. I've never seen these birds prey on living monsters. It's just unheard of. Gonna search the area, see if I can find more clues. Okay, I'll be around here if you need anything. Should search around the body. Might find the tracks of whatever did this. All right, should be. All right, obviously. Feathers black. From the birds that attacked the Abdenoth, gotta be. Yeah, I was going to say to follow these. Yeah, should find where it was first attacked. Yeah, basically just said it. Um, just follow that because Witcher three, um, Geralt's Witcher senses are in red. All right, let's do it. Never seen anything like this before. Wonder what kind of potion you could make with it. Actually, is it telling me to go here? What about this way? I don't understand. Give me a sec, guys. Won't be long. Nope, that's a dead end. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go this way. Oh, that magical music, guys. My goodness. I swear this is in Skellige, isn't it? Anyway, right, that's where we need to get to. Right, Igni sign is going to be your best friend in this uh, quest. Oh, poor Aptonoth. Black feathers. And the markings? Same as on the previous corpse. Fox seems to be attacking as one. Right. You no certainly burned them to death. One by one. You okay, Witcher, sir? <laughs> I'm fine. Seems the black birds are the culprits. Revultures. They're scavenger birds that enjoy large monsters' leftovers. They're usually harmless. I can't believe they would attack a living Aptonoth. Notice anything else in the forest recently? Anything out of the ordinary? Come to think of it, I think I spotted a new form of endemic life. It was just once, at night. It ran away when it saw me, though. Okay. Becker could be. Yeah. Small humanoid creature. Ugly smirk on its face. I was gonna say that it was probably that necker. Got lucky. Would have attacked you in the blink of an eye if it thought for a moment it was stronger than you. Now that you mention it, it had something on its face. Around its mouth. Like it had just eaten something. This forest is teeming with life. There's an intricate food chain here that is constantly revolving. I wonder if that Necker lost its need to attack anything because it was able to find plenty to eat without doing so. Pretty bold hypothesis. Though it would explain why this one wasn't aggressive. They usually are. I haven't seen it in a while, though. I wonder where it scurried off to. Might have sensed my presence. Danger. Run off somewhere. Once I'm gone, it could come crawling back. If it does, I'll send for our best hunter to capture it. Okay, so that's done. Those birds attacked me, too. Any idea why they suddenly turned aggressive? To be honest, I'm just as clueless as you. Unless there was some kind of external factor? Something significant enough to cause a sudden change in the ecosystem? Something that nudged them to the brink of starvation, for instance? Exactly. It didn't seem like that was the case, though. 
Did you see how they were flying? Completely in unison. It was like one big flock monster. I've been out here in the forest researching endemic life longer than I'd like to admit, but I'd never seen them do that. It was as if something was manipulating them. All right, all the dialogue's done. Take care now. Be careful out there, Witcher. All right, so what we'll do now... Clear as day. Okay. This is the work of something that wields magic. Powerful magic. Need to figure out what it is. Should try to find another commission member. Okay, so let's look for the chief botanist now. Now, uh, what it is, there's another side quest. <laughs> just like in The Witcher 3. But I don't know if it's going to come up yet. Oh, I know. I know where it, Okay, we need to actually speak to the botanist. But before that, while we're going through... Uh, on our way there, there's going to be some clues. And that should... Like, going through here, it should unlock the... Oh, my, don't mind if I do. <laughs> yeah, it should unlock the um, side quest. Wonder if it'd be of any use in alchemy. <laughs> oh man, guys, this this is killing me. It's making me want to play Witcher Three again. Honestly, I'm gonna do a new game plus Witcher Three, but um, not yet. It's gonna be in a few months. Where are these clues? They should. Maybe I've gone the wrong way. Give me a second. Um, I'm gonna look for it. There should be some markings on a wall. Is it this way? No, that's heading out that way. Oh, I know where. I know where. Okay. Exploring unfamiliar territory. Few things more interesting. That's a way this should actually be. Okay, I'm going to try two different places one here and if not i'll crawl under the other bit there above us dory i'm rambling guys i'm just thinking out loud just like Geralt. <laughs> Geralt does the same thing no markings here bollocks okay so let's go back and if this doesn't work i've got a plan c <laughs> So this is my plan B. Plan B doesn't work. That will be plan C. Nope. Plan C was a pile of crap. <laughs> Give me a second. Um, let's just go and see the botanist. I'm pretty certain then the uh, clues that I'm looking for should be near, near him. Anyway. Margin must belong to one of the commission members. Need to look around, look for clues. Right, here we go. Alright, follow the tracks. Stride, deep prints. Took off in a panic. Footprints lead deeper into the woods. Wonder what spooked them. Oh, I killed something. <laughs> Sorry. All over the place. Mm. Something pounce on them, they get attacked. Need to look around some more. All right, here we go. Another journal. Same researchers, judging by the handwriting. Researcher must have been chased into this cave. All right, guys, I do need to pick up some flashbugs. I just remembered. Um, I'll do that afterwards. Medallions humming up a storm. Magic in the air. Gotta be. Tree roots. All extending in one direction. Reaching out for something, looks like. 
need to follow these routes. More tracks. Irregular distance between them. Okay, we'll come back. Got away somehow, but must have been exhausted. There we go. I was right. It was in here, but it won't flag up until we uh, find that journal from the uh, ecologist or whatever. Mm. Inscription of some kind. Can't decipher it. All right. Of the commission might be able to. Right. There's a side quest, guys. So you see where that yellow exclamation mark is? I'll be up here. So we'll do that in just a second. But the reason I came here is to find some flash bugs. Lovely beetle. Kind of thing Zoltan would love to win in a bet. <laughs> oh, don't. Th guys, this is making me emotional, man. Honestly, I really want to play Witcher 3. I miss Zoltan. I miss, I miss that game. I miss everybody in that game. It's funny, when I was playing Witcher 3, I was missing Monsanto. <laughs> so, anyway. I would love to play them at the same time, but guys, it's just going to be too much. Um, I can only commit to one. There should be some more flash bugs. How many did I collect? Three. Wait, wait, wait. There must be a fourth one. Give me a sec. At least a fourth one. No, not here, not here. Not this one. Right, that's leading out of here. Is it this one here? Ah, crap. Um, yeah, I, anyway, don't worry. I know where to get them. Um, just not here right now. But anyway, let's follow these tracks. <clears throat> All right, we're nearly there. Let's Check it out. World. I'm lucky ones at that. That is sad, <laughs> That is no so sad. Predation. Roots choke them to death, it seems. Hopefully, whoever left these footprints was luckier. All right, so we're going to investigate the footprints in just a second. Let's see what's happened to these poor, poor puke pukes. No signs of predation. Roots choke them to death, it seems. Man, that's awful. Jesus. No signs of predation. Roots choke them to death, it seems. So just keep on checking out these um, puke, puke puke corpses. There's one in particular we're looking out for. I wonder where it is. <laughs> um, right, this one here. Monster in pretty bad shape, but still breathing. So we set him free. So that's going to open up a side quest a bit later. Um, right here, here we are. Side quest PK PK in peril. <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. Oh my, a fiver! You sensed I was in trouble and came to rescue me, did you? These roots came out of nowhere and trapped me here. Hmm. Wait, you're not from the fifth, are you? Name's Geralt of Rivia. I'm a Witcher. Was sent here to look into certain events happened recently in these woods. Ah, yes. The commander spoke of you. You look quite spunky. <laughs> what? Well, welcome to the new world. I would shake your hand, but, well, you know. <laughs> I am a member of the research commission. A master of the botanical arts, so to speak. Roots seem to like you a lot. Ugh, I assure you the feeling is not mutual. There I was, minding my business whilst conducting my investigation, when suddenly these roots just leaped out towards me. There was no time to think. 
so I ran away as fast as my legs could carry me. But these roots are persistent devils. I was able to outmaneuver them for a while, but eventually they cornered me here and, well, I was just in the middle of trying to persuade my captors to release me when you showed up. Mean to say you tried to talk the roots around to your point of view? Bit carefree under the circumstances, wouldn't you say? The Commission has quite a capable hunter, you see. This Sapphire Star is the first to arrive at the scene. They're talking about me, <laughs> or Emma. <laughs> and exhibits incredible power that never fails to save the day. Our Sapphire Star has saved so many of us in the Commission. I was sure I would be rescued in no time. But perhaps I rely on our hunter too much. Hmm. Think you might have learned your lesson? Lesson? Why, the lesson has yet to begin. There is much research to be done on this phenomenon. Guess not. <laughs> need a hand? Please! There are hunters who are in need of my services. This is no time for me to be tied up in roots. All right, but what's in it for me? Ah, I had a feeling you would say that. Alas, I don't exactly carry a pouch full of zenny on me at all times. However much you require, I'm sure the commander will gladly compensate you. Would that suffice? Gotta say, you're awfully lively for someone who's trapped in tree roots. We'll talk compensation later. Don't exactly look like normal tree roots, these. Definitely something strange about them. And, uh, freeing you might cause you some discomfort. Sorry. I leave the method to you. Just get me out of here. Not the safest way, but Igni would take care of those roots right quick. You all right? Thank you. Thank you. That was incredible. Oh my, I had no idea you were a wizard. <laughs> I'm no wizard. I'm a witcher. Monster slayer. Ah, yes. Forgive me, Master Witcher. Now, what brings you to this part of the forest? Looking for information. So, like plants so much you became a botanist, huh? It's not that simple, I'm afraid. Sometimes it's hard to tell if I love them or hate them. You see, we Wyvarians have a longer lifespan than humans. And when you live for so long, you become aware of certain things. How fleeting life can be, for instance. But plants are different. I can always count on them to be there, no matter how many years pass. In other words, I chose to lead a life with plants so I wouldn't have to bear the pain of seeing my human companions come and go. Call me Craven, if you will. But that was the path I chose to walk. And if that makes me a coward, so be it. Fear of loss. Wouldn't call it cowardly. It's something we all feel. What's amusing is, thanks to my research on plants, I ended up interacting with humans on a daily basis. Plants have brought back to me what I had once thrown away. And I am forever grateful for it. Guys, I wish there was more of this in Monsanto. Like, we could, you know, get to know the characters in the commission a little bit deeper, you know, by this guy's story. But anyway. Saw roots like these on my way here. They common in your world? Absolutely not. I've never seen them before, and I couldn't believe what I was seeing when I actually did. It is true that plants are able to grow rapidly depending on the stage in their life cycle, but they never grow that fast. In our world, people, monsters, plants, they all operate on the same flow of time and energy. Of course, there are natural phenomena, and at times, things can and do grow at abnormal rates. But those roots are something more. I can't think of any logical way to explain it. The only possibility I can think of is that it might be akin to something like that magic of yours. The roots. Why'd they attack you? Any idea? I haven't the faintest. I was recording in my notebook at the time. Notice anything else during the attack? In all honesty, 
Once the roots took hold, I thought I would end up as some monster's dinner. But luckily, that didn't happen. You saw them too, yes? Those poor Puke Puke choked to death by the roots? Seems they were untouched by any predators. Guess the roots attack anything that wanders within range. Damn territorial, this thing we're dealing with, whatever it is. Plants can be territorial, but never with such awareness. This is no plants doing. It must be something else. All right, we've already done this, but we'll, f you know, listen to the dialogue anyway. These, uh, Puke Puke, what kind of beasts are we talking about? They are large bird wyverns, known for their vividly colorful feathers and scales. They have large, bulgy eyes and surprisingly long tongues, but if you look closely, their features are actually quite charming. You should see one for yourself. Mm -hmm. Keep my eyes peeled. <laughs> All right, guys. Time I was on my way. Try to stay out of trouble, would you? Might not be around next time to burn you free. Can't always expect hunters to come to your rescue either. All right, you are. I've acquired the samples I need, so I'll remain here on my best behavior. Best of luck to you out there, Master Witcher. Mm-hmm. Just try to keep quiet, all right? Awesome. Okay. Plants and animals, cunning as a hare and fox combined. No doubt about it. This is a lesson's doing. <laughs> that it also transported both me and that necker to this world. Right, it's some scatter Seems nuts. Stronger than a normal lesson, no. Abundant life in this forest could be a factor. All right, need to find its totem. Should be deep in the woods near the center. Map ought to be helpful. Okay, so we could do this, but I want to do the side quest, and we should go this way, I believe. And I'm gonna do a quick um, gathering of flash bugs as well. Could get used to that. Oh, we can't go in there. Can we eat? No. <laughs> Damn it. All right, it's fine. Oh, and one more thing. I need to actually check what is in the trunk. Where's the trunk? Okay, good, good. Okay, I'll take stamina at some point. Okay, Dora, I'll sort this all out when we actually go into battle. But for now. Let's just open up this side quest. So I'll be near the northeast camp. Just in case you haven't done it before, guys. Um, I've already analyzed that. He's just going to say the same thing. So I'll show you where to go. So this way you normally find PK, PK, or Anjanath. Um, he's up here. Okay, so if you go up this way. See where this blue mushroom is? Go up here. And he should be here. Oh, phew. Okay. Good thing I remember this. All right. Check it out, guys. Uh, grab that Adam and Seed. Might help you, but, you know. Is that a hunter I see? No, it is not. You are? Name's Geralt of Rivia. I'm a witcher. Got some questions for you. He looks like a halfling. <laughs> ah, the witcher. Yes, of course. I am to provide whatever assistance you may need. Commander's orders. If it's questions you have, fire away. Your field of research. What is it? Well, I specialize in small creatures called Linians. For instance, felines, grimalkins, and gonjalaka are all species of Linians, each with their own unique culture. I spend most of my days traversing the New World, researching their ecology, culture, and lifestyle. Must have strong knees to travel that much at your age. Ha! Perhaps in my more youthful days. But these frail legs of mine just aren't what they used to be. I'm afraid I just can't keep up with the little fellows. By my aching ankles, they are nimble as can be. These days, I just get hunters to track them for me. Huh. Guess the little creatures here can be just as much of a pain as they are in my world. <laughs> Found some strange markings. Could be linked to the recent events in the forest. Can you decipher them? So, you've seen them too, have you? Those are Gajalaka doodles. And thanks to our hunter's efforts, I can decipher them as a matter of fact. Great. What do they say? They read, Crisis, King Tree, Top, Gather. 
I'd wager this king tree refers to the ancient tree. The big one in the middle of the woods? Hmm, not enthusiastic about the prospect of having to climb that. There is a part of the trunk that is hollowed out. If you go through there, you can reach the top in no time. Thanks. I'll give it a shot. By my twisting tongue, I believe my interpreting skills will be of use to you. I shall come as well. However, I won't be able to move at the same pace as yourself, I'm afraid. Please go ahead. I will follow and meet you there. Take your time. See you at the top. All right. Take care. Guess that's the only direction. Okay. Um, that's basically where Rathalos and Rathian's um, nest is. A tree from the inside. That'll be a story to tell. <laughs> All right, guys. What I'm gonna do? Give me a moment. We need to sort something out. Um, yeah. Okay. Fine. So we'll use that whetstone. Uh, we'll do this as. Where is it? Special items. Where's it? Igni. Oh, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> All right, there we go, there we go. So we'll do that as Igni. Um, Mega Potion, Max Potion, Flash Pods, but... But I will need... Hang on. These easy Flash Pods, because that's what the Commission has provided. Oh, is it not working? Oh, okay, that's... Uh, I'll change things a bit then. All right, no worries. I'll, I'll sort something out. We'll, we'll do that later then. Okay, so what I want to do now is just grab uh, some flash bugs. And as memory serves, I'm going to have to start from here, guys. And then we're going to go straight up to the tree upstairs. Wing and in breaks. fact... Strong, silent types, I guess. In fact, guys... I thought I had an ancient potion. Do I not have one? Oh, well done, Steak. It's fine. <laughs> We're okay. Just this. <laughs> awesome, Geralt. Did you enjoy that, mate? Okay, so what we're going to do is go down this way real quick. Yeah, Flash, uh, flash Pod is going to be your best friend. Uh, as well as the Igni sign. Let's go along here. Right, I'm running out of stamina. That's okay. We're nearly there anyway. All right, here we go. Flash bugs. Uh, should be one up here. Oh, they haven't grown back. Are you kidding me? Ah, shit. I'm going to have to go upstairs um, to the tree then. Now, there should be one here. Right, excellent. Okay, good. Um, ah, bollocks. Okay, all the rest are growing back. That's fine. It's okay. It's fine. All right, so we need to go all the way up here to the ancient forest camp. Gotta say, I do miss you, Roach. Guys, my heart. <laughs> my heart. That, that hurt. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> But I don't think she's ever come to this world. Gosh. All right. Anyway, so we need to go up here. However, <laughs> this is the Gajalaka must have gathered nearby. Okay. So I was about to say, guys, the Gajalaka here are no joke. Um, again, give me a sec. Let me just look for some more flash uh, flash pods because that will help us. Where do we go again? I could take a magic aura, but seen mushrooms like this before. It'd probably make an herbalist day to get one of these. Okay, so we come down this way. Give me a sec, guys. I'm all turned around. I've not been here for a while. Okay, not here, not here. Actually, should I even get some god bugs? I need blue mushroom as well. So I'm thinking out loud, guys. Just ignore me. All right, never mind. Um, I'll sort this out later. 
Okay, what's my health looking like? Okay, 150. Okay. This is it, all right. <laughs> all right, so what you do is... Wait, just want to talk. Damn it, no choice but to fight. Jeez, they're so short, I can't hit them. <laughs> Ever fight a witcher? <laughs> Take that, you bitches. Okay, I think they're down. Okay, good. We did it. <laughs> lack a lack. Gotcha. Lack. Lack. <laughs> Not terribly friendly, are you? Don't want to fight you, but I will if I have to. Lack a lack. Gotcha. Lack. Lack. <laughs> Calm down. Just want to talk. Not getting anywhere with this. Gotta wait for the researcher. <laughs> this is awesome. Master Witcher, apologies for the wait. Good thing you're here. What's this thing screaming at me? <laughs> yes, of course. <clears throat> you are very strong, impressive. Why, thank you. Mm, here I thought they were angry. Ask them why they've gathered here, will ya? To decide the next chief, our previous chief became possessed and disappeared. We could not find him. This is a serious matter. A new chief must be chosen. Then you showed up. You are strong, worthy to lead us. We have decided you are our new chief. <laughs> Me? Hang on a minute. In all my years, I've never seen Gonchalaka this happy about anything. <laughs> but this is indeed a serious matter. What say you, Master Witcher? I don't know. <laughs> what shall I say? I can't remember this. Um... Fine. Tell him I'm their chief. <laughs> Rejoice! The long-legged white-haired one is chief. Put on your mask. Dance the dance. <laughs> First off, calm down. Second, listen. As your chief, I've got three rules. Rule one, you gotta tell me what happened to the old chief. Yes, chief, it happened recently. The old chief looked like he was suddenly possessed by something and was in great pain. In pain, he left, disappeared, only leaving behind these words. Supreme healer, tree abyss. Possessed, huh? Sounds like Witcher's work to me. And, uh, Supreme Healer, Tree Abyss. What's that about? A secret passed down from chief to chief. It can heal any wound instantly. That is all we know of it. Mm -hmm. Guess the old chief realized something was wrong, went to that secret place to try and heal himself. All right, then. Rule two. The new chief doesn't wear masks, nor does he dance. <laughs> Unforgivable! The chief must put on a mask and dance! Put on your mask! Dance the dance! Go on, Geralt. Come on, you know you want to. Not done yet. Rule three. If your old chief is found, turns up, what have you, he's chief again. And I'm gonna go look for him. Bring him back here, and he can put on the masks and dance all you want. Sound fair? <laughs> you would really look for him? We accept. If you find the old chief, we allow you to step down as chief. But if you don't find him, you will wear a mask and dance the dance. <laughs> That's not happening. I'll find him. Uh, oh, okay. Supreme healer. Well, healing means potions to me. Concoctions. Any herbs grow in these woods? Verbena or celandine? A healer worth his salt would need them for brews. I'm terribly sorry, but I haven't the slightest clue what those are. I'm afraid herbology was never one of my strong suits. However, if you speak with the handler, 
She may know something about those herbs, or perhaps even about this supreme healer. Handlers are the Commission's information specialists. They record every minute detail when out on investigations. By my confounded cranium, if anyone knows the forest more than I, it's the Handler. Uh-huh. And where do I look for this Handler? I believe she's standing by at the South Camp. She also has been given instructions by the Commander to provide assistance should you need it. Got it. Thanks. Tree Abyss sounds like a location. Any place in the forest known by that name? Not specifically, but I believe I know the place to which the term refers. As you know, there is a hollow cavity within the ancient tree. Passing through it brings you here. But it leads down to the base of the tree as well. Right. So, Tree Abyss likely refers to the lowest point of the hollow. Makes sense. Worth investigating. The forest's twists and turns can be quite difficult to navigate. Do take care not to lose your way. Gajalaka claimed their chief seemed like he was possessed. Interesting. In my experience, possession in any form usually involves a curse. Given the recent happenings in this forest, I wouldn't be surprised. Lately, it's been one mystery after the next. So let's say their chief was cursed. Could have left to find a way to free himself of it. Ventured off in search of an exorcist. Anyone in the Commission have that skill? Sadly, I'm afraid there isn't anyone in the New World that possesses it. Hmm. Why do you wander off, then? Need to rethink this. Curse is a good starting point, though. I don't get it. <laughs> These riddles. Wanting to make me their chief. Gotta admit, don't really understand these Gajalaka. Do not worry, Master Witcher. By my befuddled brain matter, neither do I. Glad I'm not alone. Indeed. Say, when you're confronted with something you don't understand, what do you do? Can't imagine you can just ignore it as a researcher. Simple. Understand what I am able to, accept what I am not able to. That's it. Acceptance, huh? Fine, I guess. As long as you know you can coexist with them. All right. Got the information I need, I think. Take care out there. If you find the chief, I shall rush to your side to interpret. All right, guys. The chief realized something was wrong and ventured off to seek out the supreme healer. Need to find oh. out where he went. Oh, it's here. <laughs> I went the wrong way. Going. All right, we're going to see the handler. But like I said, guys, I need to get flash bugs. Lots of them. Now, I'm trying to remember how to do this. Should be up here, man. No, not, not where the camp is. Oh, crap. Oh, I know where I'm going wrong. It's actually this way. Right, we've got to crawl through here. And we go up this way, I believe. Right, flash bugs. I already used one, didn't I? Okay, give me a sec, guys. Okay, we've got six. That should be enough. Um, but I want to make sure I have got all of them. Um, trust me, guys. <laughs> what we're going to face is not going to be easy. Okay. Okay, these are thunder bugs. Well, we need to see the handler anyway, so all right, we might as well just go down there. It's fine. Time to get going. Hi there, Mr. Witcher. How goes the investigation? Progressing, I suppose. You're one of the commission's handlers, right? Wanted to ask you some questions. Of course. Whatever I can do to help. You heard of the herbs Verbena and Celandine? Do they grow in this forest? They're ingredients I need to brew a healing potion. Celandine? I don't see any records of such herbs having been discovered here in the New World. Is someone not well? The Gajalaka chief is missing. Seems to be connected with the recent events. He fell... ill 
and ventured out to find something or someone called the Supreme Healer. Ring any bells? Hmm. I don't think you'll be able to find the herbs you mentioned in the ancient forest. But I have an idea of what Supreme Healer might mean. Go on. There are many methods of healing wounds in this forest, but the most effective is the giant vigor wasp. Giant vigor wasps store large amounts of highly concentrated nectar in their bodies that contain restorative properties. When struck, the nectar is released in a cloud, healing anyone in the immediate area. They're a pretty rare form of endemic life, but for a native of the forest, I'm almost positive the Gajalaka chief would know where to find them and know exactly what they can do. Worth a look, I guess. Where can I find them? At the roots of the ancient tree. Area 13 on the wildlife map. Thanks. I'll look into it. I'm curious. Seems like these woods are home to a lot of different beasts. Can you tell me what kind? All kinds. They come in all shapes and sizes. Let's see. There's Rathalos, King of the Skies, the gluttonous Great Jagras, and the lightning-quick Toby Kadachi, just to name a few. Oh, and then there's the vividly colored Puke Puke. Long tail, googly eyes. It's kind of cute, in a way. <clears throat> there's also smaller monsters like the herbivorous Aptonoth, as well as Jagras, which travel in packs. What kind of monsters are there in your world? Griffins, werewolves, foglets, to name a few. Noon wraiths that only appear when the sun's at its apex. Whole assortment, really. Oh, they sound like they'd be really difficult to capture. Oh, they are. Easier to just kill them. That hunter that was with you, where is she? Haven't seen her around. She's out on assignment. To keep the larger monsters out of the forest. They definitely get in the way of your investigation if they were roaming about like usual. Keeping them out of the whole forest? Alone? Must be quite the hunter. She's... how do I put this? One of a kind. First class in everything. Skill. Resourcefulness, application, but above all else, she has this amazing willpower to carry out anything she sets her mind to. I interact with many hunters in my line of work, but I've never met one who comes even close to her. Years from now, she'll probably be known as a legendary hero. It's a great time to be alive. Hero, huh? I know someone who would gladly pen a ballad about your hunter. <laughs> Dan's aligned. <laughs> Really? Then I'll be waiting for the day our hunter's exploits become a household tune. They'll be humming it all the way from your world to ours. So long. Good luck out there. You see, look, the handler is not really annoying here. Why can't she be like this all the time? Okay, what is this? First aid med? Ah, don't really care. We'll take that though. Uh, easy max. Uh, yeah, okay. Adamant, why not? And these? Yeah, definitely. Okay, all right, guys. So I'm going to do one more last check regarding the uh, flash bugs. And I know where that um, Gajalaka chief is anyway, so we'll go straight there afterwards. Trust me, this is important, the flash bugs. <laughs> okay. Turn and turn again. Guys, I love the lance. It's so good. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see if these um, flash bugs have grown back. They should have. Come on. They have to have. They, yeah, they have. It looks like it. Okay. One of those. One of those. Okay, there's one here as well. Uh, not that. Okay, not that. I always get lost here, Jesus. <laughs> All right. And that one there. Okay, that'll be enough. Oh, wait, is that another one? No, so sorry. That something glinted and I thought that was it. Okay, guys, so. What is that? Chief Botanist? What's he doing there? Anyway, whatever. So we need to be in a northwest camp. And it's as if though we were trying to find Toby Kadachi. Come on, come on. All right. 
bugs. Oh, and there's, there's going to be some flash bugs up here as well, guys. Uh, guys, listen, do not underestimate this fight that's coming up. <laughs> You're looking and think, oh, that's cute. Right. Should find the chief around here. Right, how do I forge more? Okay, good. Okay. Right, grab that one. Oh, that's going upwards. We need to go down. Medallion's humming strongly. Must be close. All right, here we go, guys. That's gotta be the chief, and he looks angry. So cursed after us. No choice but to fight him. Given me no choice. Come on, come closer. Oh, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> What the hell? Jesus, the guys, the amount of health this dude has. Time to end this. <laughs> Time to end this. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. That is without a doubt the Gajalaka chief. If you have something to ask, make haste. This might be the only chance we have him while he is still himself. Right. Tell him this. Sorry for that walloping. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I've been looking for you. <laughs> <clears throat> Me? Ah, I remember. My mind suddenly started to feel far away. I came here to be healed. Something's cursed you. Whatever it is, I'm here to kill it. Mentioned your mind felt far away. Remember what you saw then? I saw a black spiral. From it, an arm of withered wood came out and grabbed me. I do not remember what happened after that. Black spiral. Sounds like a portal to me. And I'd wager the owner of that arm of withered wood is behind everything that's been going on. Stay here. Something I need to tend to. Why save me? Let's just say this has become a serious matter for me as well. So long. I shall remain here a while longer. I am worried about the chief's current state. Eyes and ears peeled then. Be on your watch. All right, guys. The chief's curse and the events in the forest, they're linked, have to be. Figuring out the problem, how to calm things down. That ought to solve the chief's problem too. Need to keep going. Okay, so we're gonna go here. So that's the side quest completed. Um, wow. Okay, I'm trying to remember how to fight this thing. Hunter equipment, huh? Not bad. Um, let me think. Okay, we better take an ancient potion. What else can we do? We, ah, we haven't got any mite seeds here. Okay, this is the best I've got for now. So I've got adamant seed. Uh, life powders will come in useful later. We've got two max potions. And I've got these, of course. All right, okay. And what's that? That's a normal potion. I want mega potions. Oh, I've got normal life powders. Oh, we're, we're good. We're fully stocked, guys. So we'll be okay. All right, let's do this. Not gonna lie, I'm shit scared. <laughs> we should be okay. Medallion's humming. Totem must be somewhere around here. Hmm. Leshen's totem. Should be able to lure the Leshen out by destroying it. Huh? Right, we got a shit ton of Jagrasses. <laughs> Damn it. Might have known it couldn't possibly be that. Alright, can you use Igni on them? They're much stronger than your regular Jagras. So just take a bit of care. 
Come on! Ever fight a Witcher? Jeez, they've got a ton of health. Oh, you piece of shit. <laughs> I got him in the air. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Okay, we need to sharpen. Oh, you bitch. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Can I sharpen real quick? Please, come and go, please. Oh, God damn me. <laughs> All right, try again. Silent now. Seems they were controlled by magic. Leshen could hold sway over other beasts I All right, to. I need to de-equip this. All right, here we go, guys. This is it. Show yourself. This is so cool. Oh shit, I don't have God. Oh damn it. <laughs> Crap. Okay. Alright, here we go. Come on, you bitch. Guys, I actually need to heal. <laughs> God damn, he's doing a lot of damage. Okay, I'm gonna stay around here. Oh, come on. Where is he? Ah, shit, he's so far. All right, I need to soften him as well. So when I get a chance to. All right, here we go. Damn it, man, will you just shoot, you stupid bastard? All right, there we go. And then do that. Take oh, you, that. You're, you're kidding me. All right, here we go. How you like that silver? Oh, shit. Oh, crap. <laughs> Damn it. Good, he's softened at least. Oh, no, you don't. Okay. All right, guys. Sorry, I'm just swept up in this. The music, uh, everything is so cool, man. This is so sick. Come on, come on. Uh, yeah, won't use paralyzed yet. Oh crap! I missed the freaking ropes. Give me a sec. Let's do this properly. You bitch, come on, let's, let's get some damage in. No, not that, girl. Jesus. Come on, come closer. Oh, Jesus. Oh no, God damn it. 
<laughs> oh shit, he's right behind me. Oh come on, I did I did my power cards. Oh shit. Oh, 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 that was close. Okay, guys. Okay. Oh, I've got my heart is beating so fast. And music has got my blood pumping. All right. Okay, I don't need this anymore. I don't think I can poison him again. Uh, is there anything else? What else can help me here? Oh, I can have that, I guess. Okay, a stero jerky if I need it. He does cause bleeding, so just be, be aware of that. Guys, this is so badass. <laughs> it really is. Okay, anyway. Oi, bitch. Oh, shit, I should... Wait. Power to summon... Oh crap! Oh damn it! Whoa! Jesus! Oh you bitch! Okay, one sec guys, one second. Come on, peel up and away! Okay. Ah, <laughs> bitch! Oh wait, wait, wait! Got you. Okay, block. Oh, not that way, girl. What were you doing, man? Jesus. <laughs> Take that, you bitch. Him on his f on his foot. Ah, damn! I only sharpened. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh shit! No. <laughs> what? <laughs> I need to heal. <laughs> God damn. Oh crap. Oh crap. Stay on his head. Stay on his head. Okay, here we go. Here we go. How you like that so Alright, here we go. Oh damn it. Stay on the platform. That's it. No, don't go off the Oh shit. I shouldn't have done this here. Oh crap, he's still here. Die, die, die! Oh god. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh crap. He's shit. Come on, come closer. Whoa! Oh, damn it. We're trying to burn him. Oh, damn it. <laughs> damn it. Okay, guys, I need to heal. Jesus. Oh, man. <laughs> God, I'm, I'm feeling so tense. All right, I need another uh, well done steak, I think. No, I don't. I'm, I'm fine. Sorry. Just trying to make sure we're all good. Okay, come on. Sharpen. And I better grab that wiggly litchie as well. Okay, guys. Right, let's take down this son of a bitch.
Okay, we need to, um... I need to soften him again. Ah, shit. Come on. Shit. God damn you. Okay, where is he? Oh, for Christ's sakes, man. All right, Igni's ready, so we're good. That didn't get him, really. Take that, you piece of shit! Come on! Oh, God! Guys, this fight is thrilling! Okay. Okay, where are you? What are you doing over there, you son of a bitch? Oh, crap. Oh, my God. Time to end this. All right, Garo, let's do this. Let's do this. Actually, you know what, guys? There should be another Wiggly Litchy here. Let me grab that. We're going to need it. Okay. Oh, gosh. <laughs> this is crazy. All right. And it's been three years, guys. Remember, I've not done this in a, in a while. Okay, he's going to let out a big roar, I believe. Where are you, though? Okay. Block that. Right. It's angry now. Oh shit. Oh Let damn it. Go. Oh got him. <laughs> Alright, did that just to see if that was a stronger block, but Okay guys, we need to put him on fire. Where is he? Oh you bastard! Okay. Okay, I need to just take a mech potion. We'll be all right. Come on, come on, go! Hurry up! Okay. Peeky peeky. Okay, guys. What you need to do is oh shit, oh shit. Okay. Bastard, okay. How do you like that silver? Ah, damn it, okay. Oh god, he's he's getting really annoying now. Come on, come closer. We need to heal again. Okay. Pukey Pukey is going to be fine, but we may need to heal him with a, a life powder. Sorry I'm not talking much, guys. This fight is nuts. <laughs> take that, you piece of shit. Yeah, take that, you motherfucker. Come on. Oh, 
crap. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Just piss him off. <laughs> oh, damn it, man. Seriously. Okay, PK, PK, look, you're gonna get yourself hurt, man. Oh, fucking hell, now, come on. Settle down now. Return to normal. We did it, guys. Where's PK PK? Oh, anyway, he's gone, man. But listen, wow, that was so thrilling. But guys, I wasn't talking much. I was in full concentration mode. Um, Lesh and Skull. Of nutrients out of these woods. <laughs> these materials are strong. All right. Anyway, but that completes the. Deliver them to the commission. Could be useful in their research. Okay, that completed a side quest for Puke Puke. Uh, we've done the Gadjalaka one as well. Now we should get a an attack decoration, I think. So that'll be, you know, pretty cool. <laughs> oh man, that was crazy, guys! I'm literally, I'm literally sweating. Honestly, I've not done this fight in, you know, obviously three years. But man, honestly, it's such a thrilling fight. Ah, <sighs> anyway. saving me. I am in your debt. Are you part of the research commission? No, I'm a witcher. Here in the forest on a contract for the commission. Want to thank anyone. Thank them for hiring me. I see. One of our tribes have helped them in the past, but please tell them that they have the power of not one, but three tribes now. Got it. I'll tell him. Thank you for everything, Witcher. <laughs> A little loud. Are you focused? Have our deepest thanks. We couldn't have solved that problem on our own. And you convinced the Gajalaka to help us with our own investigation. Thank you so much. How will you get back to your world? Leshen's portals, I think. Pretty sure I'll find one still open. Huh. Where's that hunter? While I tended to the Leshen, she cleared the forest of a lot of filth. She's our brightest star, so she's rarely in one place for too long. As soon as that Leshen was taken care of, she was already off on another assignment. She sends her regards. Now then, here's your reward. Hmm. Hefty as that coin is. It can't possibly have any value in my world. Give it to the hunter. I couldn't have killed the Leshen without her help anyway. And this, also for your hunter. What is it? A runestone. Your hunters don't wield any magic of their own. But in our world, magic exists in some objects as a matter of course. If a Leshen ever appears again, tell your hunter to use it to summon flames. All right. Godspeed to you. Take care.
Gotta be somewhere around here. What's this? Hmm. Think I get it. A gift for saving the Puke Puke over there. Bet we'd be good friends in my world. Thanks. But I was just fulfilling a contract. Doing my job. Don't need any gifts. Tell you what. You give it to the Commission's best hunter. Tell her we'll probably meet again someday. Well, take care now. <sighs> Portals. Could do without them. Guys. <laughs> wow. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, I shed a tear. <laughs> not because of sadness or anything. It's it just got me so emotional listening to the um uh, the music from Witcher 3. It was one of the contracts. I, I mean this track is used in other quests in the Witcher 3, but I remember it distinctly from Tower Out of Nowhere. Um that's one of the uh quests that we do in the Witcher 3, and it, it just got me so emotional, man. It's an awesome, awesome track. That was adorable. The uh, Palico and the Puke Puke were trying to give Geralt this, which is an attack jewel. Now, guys, if you're not careful, um, if your Puke Puke takes too much damage, he'll die, and you won't get the attack jewel. So, uh, anyway, just letting you know, FYI. So, these are the rewards who broke his antlers, broke his body, etc., etc. We did it, guys. Let me see this picture, though. Where's the lesson? <laughs> oh, that's a PKP. I can't make this out very well, but PKP is trying to help me. But that is an awesome Lance picture. Anyway, guys. Anyway. <laughs> awesome. So the Gadgelaka will help out more. Hey, I want to read that. Ah, crap. One sec, guys. Okay, the Gadgelaka will help you out more easily thanks to the gadgelaka shell shock you got from the chief uh cut scene blah blah the hunter rune stone yeah i can use this but it's quite useless unless you are actually Geralt of rivia um background dark clouds um don't use guild cards all right it's fine whatever all right guys i'll see you back in astera i guess hey guys i'm back okay check this out so I'm just at the smithy, and um, as you can see, we've now unlocked um, the full armor set for Geralt. It's actually really good. It's really good. Obviously, I've kind of out-leveled this now, but this is excellent. Let me show you. So we've got... Right, full health boost. We've got full recovery speed. Uh, weakness exploit, marathon runner, uh, stealth. No, that's mine. <laughs> I think stealth's part of my one. Okay, got some attack boost. What about the actual armor itself? Does it have like... Sorry, guys, give me a second. Oh, crap. I'm trying to see them individually. How do we do that? Okay, there we go. So you've got double weakness exploit, but you've also got... <laughs> there you go. So you have to equip the entire thing. You can't do pieces of the armor. Um, so we've got double weakness exploit, recovery speed, uh, two small slots... Uh, Geralt's body, there'll be three health boosts, double attack boosts, two small slots. So I can't, uh, maybe I can add critical boost to this. Okay, recovery speed, one big level three slots, a level two slots, and weakness exploits, double critical eye. I guess I could wear the critical eye charm. Just to boost affinity. Obviously, we can use a different weapon, which is good. But listen, guys, in fairness, this is a solid build. It's actually really decent. And you know where it says Igni Intensity? 
um, this works, you know, the Igni sign, it'll work more uh, stronger with Geralt using it, uh, using this armor set. And super recovery, what does that do again, actually? Will it tell me here? Ah, crap, it won't even say anything. Right, which is knowledge for? Okay, allows recovery speeds, sorry, recovery to exceed the red portion of the health gauge. That's basically the Valhazak um, recovery build as well. So, no, this is solid. I, I think this is awesome. This is really good. What about weapons? Just out of curiosity. I don't, I don't think there is, but... Nah, there's nothing here, really. Not for Geralt. It might be a sword and shield, perhaps, but... Um... Yeah, there you go. Witcher's silver sword. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome 252 white tons of white sharpness um dragon is 300 and it's high elder seal this is solid very very good all right so there we go guys now just before we close up we're gonna go downstairs real quick and we need to speak to the resource center because they've got a little something for us i have something special just for you why thank you okay hello hunter the endemic life researcher has got a very interesting request for you she, uh, says she wants you to capture a rare creature that appeared in the ancient forest she even wrote down a hint under unclassified life in your field guide just for you <laughs> As a reward, she prepared some spiffy but creepy armor for your palico. I, for one, can't wait to see it. <laughs> so go out and catch that critter. <laughs> okay, so basically, look, I know where this is. Um, you have to go into the ancient forest. You can't bring your palico with you, and you must re uh, wear a ghillie mantle. Where you're going to find this is where the Jagras feeds, uh, sorry, the great Jagras feeds his little Jagras. Uh, family <laughs> or children whatever um so that's how you lure out the it's it's basically a necker guys so if you remember um during the dialogue when we were speaking to the endemic life researcher do you remember she said that she saw a creature and you know she never saw it again well she's now found it again so we've just got to you know try and locate it but listen guys that was absolutely phenomenal i haven't done this in a few years so it felt quite fresh to me still and uh, obviously i wanted to save uh pk pk and i felt sorry for the guy <laughs> poor thing and um it was an exciting fight but guys what made it more exciting was the music it was oh it was so intense it was so badass honestly and it was great to you know play as Geralt of, uh, of Rivia again it was it was just awesome uh, by the way as well if you're a beginner again let me just show you right find all branches of this special assignment uh we've done we've actually completed all of it but you can repeatedly do this if you want you can play the special assignment contract trouble in the ancient forest a collaboration with the richer three wild hunt as many times as you want step into Geralt of Rivia's shoes once more and try to find all of the side quests and endings so we've done that Complete all of the side quests in one playthrough and you'll be awarded the Wild Hunt title at the end. Oh, I think I did. Yeah, that, yeah, we, we did achieve that, so that's pretty good. All right, guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed all that. Um, I certainly did, man. I had a whale of a time. Oh, it was, it was just awesome. I just played this quest with pure fondness, if that makes sense. It was just awesome. Please check out my Witcher 3 playthrough if you haven't already. I've also done the DLCs, Blood and Wine, and uh, Hearts of Stone. So I hope, hopefully you'll like that. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. So thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like the video. Please subscribe if you're new. And I will see you in the next part. Take care.